Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm here with a special guest today. Her name's Emily, and she's my niece. Surprise! Hi! Today we're going to talk about something that I picked up over at New York Toy Fair 2019. It's called the Mad Matter Toolbox. Now, for those people who don't know, oh, there we go. Uh, Mad Matter is, a, is basically a stuff that's not too unlike kinetic sand. And we're going to show you... Back. The front. First. We're going to show you what you can do with this. Now, inside the toolbox, you get you, you get instructions and a list of parts. Of course, all and toys have instructions. We're gonna, and we're going to put everything out. There's a set of molds. There are sets of um. There, there's a there's a knife. A saw. A saw. And some like texture palettes. And cutting guides. Mm -hmm. But what's most important is that the sand. Which is actually the mad matter. There's red and, and then, there's yeah. blue. So I'm taking red and you take blue. Okay. And we're gonna put all this over here so we can actually play right here. Okay. Okay, right here. So this this um this mad matter is like I said, it's just like connect scent, but you gotta for this, since it's moldable and it's hold and it can hold its shape. More or less, you have to knead it. So go knead it right here. This is just squish it and stuff. So. And besides, it it goes foamy and you can stretch it. Yep. Oh, so. nice. If you break it apart easily, look. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stuff. Look so. like regular sand. So, what we want to do though is it starts off a, a little stiff, so. We're just making it softer by, by, by kneading it, and then we're going to make, we're going to make uh, some bricks from it. And it turns out these bricks are just like Lego bricks, just made out of sand. Connect sand. So, you want a you want a mold? Uh, yeah. You want the square mold, right? No, I'll take I'll take the curved one. I'll All right. Try. All right. Well, I'll take the square one. And we're going to show you how we do this. But the first thing we got to do is... Make, make a ball. I already, well, I already made one and it just rolled away. Yep. And I got Rolling. got mine. And then we just sort of pat it down a little. Well, not that much. There we go. And then you squish And then you, it. you put the top of the mold down and press it down so it will get the right, right height. There we go. And then we get our molds. Almost halfway. And press them on top and have them cut through. Mine's not so good. And you end up with this. There you go. Oh, that's because you're doing it backwards. Oh. Yeah. Backwards? Yeah, no, you, you want to do it that way. So I gotta we'll, start over. I gotta start well, over. Well, go start over and I'll show show this one. Sorry. So then you get this and you put it place it into the mold bottom, press down on it. You end up with the holes. And then wink. There you go. Something that looks suspiciously like a Lego brick. Yep. Now, let me make another one while well, Emily is working on it. There you go. You got it. Now press down and then pop it, pull it out, and then pop it out. There we go. Good job. Oh, oh I, I, sh I don't. There. Ta -da. It's kind of hard to see, but if I go like that, you can see. So I'm making another one. It looks like a rainbow after. And then, whoop. and then you go, and then you press. Uh oh. My ball, my club fell. Well, um. I'll get it. There's two pieces, so I have two pieces now, and you can take the two pieces. Got it. And you can, they actually do fit. 
together. Mm. Put together like Lego bricks. Like that. Mm. Pretty good. So, but let's make a few of these. Now, what's cool about the part that Emily did is that it's a curved piece. And, yes, it'll fit just like, just like the other pieces. It's just that it's raised above, so it's going to fall off. So let's make some more pieces. Okay. Now I'm having problems. Kind of there we go. Just oh, there you go. That's fine. Yeah, just peel it off. Sometimes it's a little bit messy. So like a little bit like blue piece. But it's okay. You could always just peel, sometimes like peel it off. Or yeah. you could just restart. So, so here we go with this. There. Where everything fits together. Please give us a thumbs up. And we'll keep on going. I'm done. Ah. Now I'm gonna make a bunch of these uh, square, uh, these um, two by fours because we're gonna show what you can do with them. Right. Besides stack, just stack them. Uh -huh. So you I'm gonna make like, one more, and I'm gonna show. You could sometimes like make a tower by them, or like a little square, like almost anything you want. Just but with these, with these forms, these templates, you can actually make different types of bricks. And so in this particular them, one, one of them is kind of curved. Yeah, this one is the curved. No, this one will give you slopes. <gasps> Why? So you go here and you use use a knife and you just go like that and there you go. You end up with a slope piece. And you can stick that in and we'll put that down here. Now keep in mind since this is rather for lack of a better term, this is sand. You're not going to get exact exact pieces. But if it's we not make perfect all the way. Or or let's if we make another piece. And if you want, you could just stick it a little bit hard with a little bit of pressure, and then you can make your own thing, like a rainbow. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you gotta stick on top like that. This this other template will let you make smaller size pieces like in half a like, two by a two by two brick mm -hmm, like little marshmallows you can make or one by two so let's get those out yep. yeah you should do that better and so you end up with a two by two and a one by two and they also they also stack like the others. So you can do that. And also if you want more, there's like extra left. Yeah, there, there's plenty of there's plenty of parts left. Uh, pl plenty of this uh, uh, so, compound left. Yeah. But one last thing I will show, which is which is uh, the bag, one of the which, bestest part. You want to do this? Um, one second. Let me just finish this one up, and then I could do it. Okay. Well, I'll do one of them. Yeah. Instead of making a 2x4 brick, you can actually make a, a, a tile of sorts with this piece. This is actually a part that lets you put a different texture on. So instead of doing just a normal brick, which I will do here, already impressed, I'm going to do this instead. Done. Oh, excellent. And see, and if you go right here, it makes a C. I made that. And there we go, like that. We're gonna go here. Wait, can I do this part? Uh, let me do this one, and I'll let you do the next one, okay? Okay. All right, we go here. I'm just gonna play this. We're gonna this. press. Well, you can make some more round ones. Um. Okay. I just have a little bit left. Here. Or you can make a small round one. Yeah, I can make those too. And if I pop this one out, it has this like texture. Events. Yep. 
Yep. And then... Time for a fence. If I, I can make this brick even more different by okay. placing it in place here and then using this mold. And then it can make wood form because there are some different ones. So, that one did, did wood. So, right, so you end up with a wood texture on all sides. And that can be placed... I'll place it right there. Here, let's do. Let's do mine now. Yeah. So you get it. Get here. Oh, you got that. Yeah. So what do you want to do? We got this. We got this. Circles. We got this. Let's try the stone one, and then we could add this. Okay. So we have a stone one and a matching uh, mold to go with it. So we stick this right um, there. There. And then we're gonna press it back. Like that and then there you go just press it in then you do the regular thing press it down do. there you go and then put it in there good okay. job good job it sounds like you can't really reach it. and then push it down all right and then pop it up there you go all right excellent and show it to show it to the camera no, no, that oh, camera. Oh, oops. There we go. I me, I yeah. meant that camera. Now we're going to stick it into there. You're going to stick it into no, stick it here. There you go. And then you're going to press all the sides in, all at the same time. This is a little bit difficult. Yep. Oh, take all your pressure. And then pull it out. No, oh, not I didn't do this yet. There you go, like that. And then pull it out. It's not always perfect. There you go. But there you go. And there's some other different textures to play with too. There's one like so, like a little maze. Or and then a there's a there's a, could actually, um, like make there's a wood that matches. There's a wood that matches with the wood piece. So all of these things can be done to make. I just have an idea. What? So if we flatten this enough out for. For this, we could like um like a little paper, like like a copy. Like a copy? See. Maybe. Hmm. That doesn't do anything. No, we can actually design. First. Well, that's not gonna come out. <laughs> can you help me? There. See? So you can make a thinner design. Actually, if you wanted to do a plate, you would make a, um, uh, you would use less than the, the full amount that, that, that you press out. So, um, so let me do, oops, sorry. Let me make a wood one of these. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. You could carve it. Yeah, these these pieces are carvable, as she mentioned. Of course, kinetic sand is always carvable, and sometimes. Yeah. But when it and hardens then, up, and oh, that goes. And then you place it on here, and then you. Oh, and also you could pretend you're, you're in construction again, like Emmett and the Lego movie. Yep. So, and he, here's a one. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, you can spend, this has enough, has enough mad matter to make quite a few pieces. You can probably make your own little house if you wanted to. And, and enough, um, enough parts to make, uh, Pretty much any kind of block creation you you want. No plates, blocks. And then afterwards, what's really fun is that you can get your whatever you you worked on, and you can just squish it right back into so the I mad made, matter. So I made like a little wall, a little wall piece with the <laughs> with the sand, and I then I could just squish it. Bye bye. So. Yeah. <laughs> but. So that's it from me and and Emily. So hopefully we'll be back soon with another another uh, look at it, at something else I've run into. And subscribe 
and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.